days ago, I was out here just doing chores, just like I am this morning, checking cows, checking everything out, and I made an awesome discovery. In fact, Lane and I, and eventually Ben came back here, all of us did. It was super exciting. So let me give you some raw footage from that morning. Our first South Pole heifer. It's mama is a South Pole, and then it's daddy. We AI'd with a South Pole, so super pumped. So this, we've got another one too. This black heifer, her number 79. Uh, we're about to try to catch it, see if it's a bull or a heifer, and get it tagged too. is I think these have been born a day or so. Uh, they're not wet anymore. They're up and nursing so that tells me they weren't just born. That's why we check every single day but we've had a lot of things going on the last couple days so we've been checking them but not up close. Like I've checked their water. I've looked at them but I didn't notice these two and they're a little bit more feisty now so they'll run from you. found a third one so we're going to check it out to see if she's had it yet or if she's just off by herself getting ready all right we got to get binoculars first order of business because we're having trouble seeing that far to see what the cow's number is so what we're doing is we're giving them when our spring calving or summer actually calving season stopped we stopped at number 22 for the year 28 that was our 28th calf of that little season and so we just started these at 22, 29, but also on the tag Lane is riding, these were AI'd back in um, December of last year. And so if you remember, if you've been around here, I took a class on doing that. Then we decided to AI these heifers. We wind up having some people coming in and help us because AIing heifers is way more difficult than cows. And so someone came and helped us finish it up. Thank the Lord. And um, so they're calving. So these, this small window is the AI calves. And so we AI'd with South Pole, 6413, so that bull's number. So that's going on the top of the tag in smaller numbers. And then we have four that we AI'd to a Wagyu bull. So we're hoping we get at least something out of those four. We won't get 100% when you AI, you just don't, but we're hoping for something. So this is another one of the South Pole bulls calves. And it's kind of brownish red. I'm saying that more for my benefit than y'all's because I need to go home and write all this down. Bull or heifer? Huh? Bull or heifer? Oh. So two heifers and a bull. So we're driving up through part of the pasture because they're in a fairly large pasture right now. Lane is uh, driving the other way just to see if we see any more. But just a word of caution, this is really risky. Um, because heifers and especially even cows, but especially like first time heifers, they're new to this. And so they could have their calf and leave it. And even cows will do that a lot. Um, they'll tuck it away somewhere and then they'll go off to graze or whatever. And they'll, they'll know where they left it and they'll come back to it later. But I know people that have ran over multiple ones of their calves. That's the last thing you want to do is put all this time and effort into them and run them over not to mention it'd just be a horrible feeling to do that to a calf so just if you need to drive through go slow and just be very careful one last thing about that is when calves are first born 
um, and you know at different times too, but especially when they're first born, they'll lay like flat down. And so they're next to impossible to see. And so you just need to be very careful of that. So you can see it has been a few days and she is doing great. She's up and around slick and beautiful. Just so thankful. I love trips like this to come back here and check the cows. If you've been around here a while, you remember we AI'd or artificially inseminated this whole group of heifers back in December of last year, right around the holidays. We were out here in the cold AIing heifers and now comes the payoff. It, here it is September, they're due. They're actually not due for a couple days, but heifers sometimes have a shorter gestation time. So uh, these three had them a bit early, but that means they definitely were successful with the AI because we didn't put in a cleanup bull until a little while later so we could be sure if they were born from the AI bull or from our actual bull that we put in. So these are definitely from the AI. We had four that we AI'd to a Wagyu bull and then the rest were AI'd to a registered South Pole bull. So it's really exciting. One thing I want to mention is you can completely change your herd by doing AI and, and using a quality bull. Now there's some dangers. You can't just go in and say you want taller calves and just breed to a super tall bull, but ignore all the rest of his qualities. And maybe you're breeding in something that you don't want in your herd for some reason. So you really need to pay attention. Maybe find someone you can talk to that's done this before. Maybe the place you're buying the semen from that can help you select what you're wanting that would be good for your herd based on what are your cows like? What what kind of calving? Do they have trouble calving? Because you don't want one that throws like a really large calf, uh, a really large high birth weight bull when your cows already have trouble delivering like a normal size. So things like that just to consider. But I do want to encourage you, it's something if you can look into it and learn how to do it, or if there's someone in your area that will do it for you, it can really make a huge difference in your herd. We're going to keep you guys posted. We've got quite a few more to calve yet. That's just the tip of the iceberg, but it was a super fun discovery we weren't expecting. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and we got a lot of things coming up this fall, so I hope you subscribe. I hope you hit the not notification bell, and stay tuned. We love having you part of our VW Family Farm family here on YouTube. We'll see you guys later. God bless. Mm -hmm.